Good morning. We are all packed up and just about to leave Nizwa. We are headed back through Muscat and down to Sur, but we're going to be making several stops along the way. And I am particularly excited about this part of Oman because it's going to include all kinds of water and hopefully some swimming. And I feel like I'm just a water baby at heart. Same, same. And it'll also present us with some opportunities to cool down, which in this heat are going to be very, very welcome. Today is also very exciting, and this is going to sound a little bit weird, but it's because we are going to take these. These are malaria tablets, and that implies that the next leg of our journey is going to include some of that. If you already have a feeling as to where we might be going, then feel free to put your guess into the comments below. Curious to see what answers you come up with. smoothies and some coffee to tide us over and we have about 40 minutes left until we reach our first destination of the day. Honestly this drive has been so smooth. The roads here are absolutely amazing and the best thing is like as you're going through the drive then you get views of just mountains. Mountains everywhere. It's, it's nuts. It's so picturesque around here. Yeah, you're just surrounded on both sides of the highway, basically. It's fantastic. What a beautiful drive. After a three-hour drive, we have arrived at Wadi Deka Dam. It looks beautiful, so let's go check it out. So what did you think? This is stunning. The water is just such a crystal blue and by contrast to the mountains, it just adds to it. It's just such a dramatic landscape around here. It's amazing. It is definitely worth coming here for the view alone. Just so you know, you cannot swim in the water, but locals often come here to watch the sunset because you get the view of the lake and then the sun setting right behind the mountains. Unfortunately, we're not hitting it at the right time of day. It just doesn't work out for our schedule, but definitely worth a stop, even for just like 20 minutes. Not least because it's free as well. After a short 45 minute drive, we are now at Bima Sinkhole. The reason that it is a sinkhole, apparently this was all just flat land and then the limestone underneath the surface then crumbled away to then leave a very deep rock pool. But the locals think that it was created by a meteorite strike. So they named the park Hawiat Najam. Probably not saying that correctly at all. Actually, definitely not saying that correctly. Eh. But the English meaning of that is the deep well of the falling star. Let's go check it out. Spoil sports. had heard that if you come and sit at Bima Sinkhole, 
these little fish will basically eat the dead skin off your <laughs> bottom of your feet. Oh my gosh, it tickles so much. They totally just like swarmed over to the bottom of my feet, which must mean I have a ton of dead skin, but it's like all tingly and ticklish. This is wild. <laughs> As I'm like getting one too at the same time, it's so ticklish. I've just taken my feet out of the water and I looked at the bottom of my feet. I'm going to spare you that image, but they have never been more smooth or clean. Even when I get pedicures and they file the bottom of my feet, it does not work as well as this. And this was completely natural and free. Still here, still loving it. I feel like we should start making this a regular thing. Lads, come over. It's a feast. Sadly, we have to move on, but I could have spent all day there. That's probably one of the coolest things I've ever done. I loved it. Honestly, there was a part of me that would have also spent all day in there by just submerging my body in and letting the fish just take care of me for the entire day. If we had the time to, I would actually come back here again and go for a full on swim. But the issue is that we have to be dry, I guess, to come back in the car. And we have one more place we want to go today. So I guess we're moving on. Update. We've arrived to the Wadi Shah parking lot and we talked to the people there. You have to take a boat across, which only costs one real return. So it's not bad. But from there, it's a 45 minute hike to the first pool. And then there's three different pools that you can swim in. And then we'd have to walk back 45 minutes and get the last boat back here at six o'clock. And it's about 245. And I think we could just about do it, but we don't want to be rushed. We want to enjoy this. And since we have all of tomorrow and only this and one other thing that we wanted to do, we just figure let's go to the hotel now, chill out for the rest of the evening and spend tomorrow doing those two things when there is no rush or time constraint. And I think even if we cut things short now, then it's still been a very good day. We've still had a really wonderful time with this stuff that we have gone and seen. So, And in all fairness... We've had a long drive from Nizwa yeah. because that's on the complete other side of Muscat. Like that's north of Muscat and where we're staying tonight in Sur is south of Muscat. So it's been a full day. It has been a full day. So we're just going to head to the hotel now. Indeed. in the morning and we are back at Wadi Sharp. Take two.
45 minute walk, we've made it to the first pool here at Wadi Shab. I read a few blog posts in preparation for this and one of them made the hike sound super difficult. I don't think it was. The first two parts are very flat. The first part takes you through kind of like farmland. And by that, I mean like date trees, palm trees, sugar cane. The second part is walking along the cliffs but there's a lot of room between the cliff and the edge. So I wouldn't get concerned about that. It's also flat. It's only the third part where the hike gets a little bit more challenging in the sense that it's not well signposted, although there are arrows on the rocks, but it's not super clear. You do have to climb up over some rocks or walk through little pools of water, but overall it's really not that difficult to walk. We have stashed our bag in this little crevice here. There's not really anyone else here so hopefully it doesn't get stolen and it's still here when we come back from swimming. We have just finished swimming through the first pool and now you have to walk to the second one. So here we go. currently walking back or hiking back to the car now but what an incredible experience i have never done or seen anything like this in my life before and i want more i don't get me wrong the hike to it especially since we were trying to sort of still pathfind and it was starting to get warm and all that kind of stuff was pretty intense but Honestly, just keep going because what you get at the end is so worth it. It's absolutely amazing in there. The water is perfect for swimming and everything that you get to see around you as you are swimming and treading water is second to none. It's yeah. so worth it. The pools are all interconnected. And as you said, the temperature, it's one of those things where like you can just walk right into it and be comfortable, mm. but it's not like lukewarm hot tub by any stretch. It's no. just refreshing. Yeah. But one piece of advice, where we have these shoes, you have hiking shoes that are also waterproof and I have hiking sandals, which are waterproof. And you either want to have a combo of those two so you have good shoes for the hike and can go swimming in it or you're gonna wanna bring two different pairs of shoes. The 45 minute walk was probably about accurate to get there. It seems a lot quicker on the way back. Just another thing, and maybe this is just because we are going in the time of year that we're going, but bring supplies bring twice as much water as you think you're going to need because it does get pretty intense here like it's really nice to have that halfway point of the water because it definitely does cool you down and make part of the journey a lot easier but you're going to find yourself getting pretty dehydrated pretty quickly so you're going to want to prepare for that yeah we're here in the dead of summer and the nice thing about that though is there's barely anyone here like True. while we were in the pool we only saw three other people when we came back, it seems to have been getting a little bit busier, but mm. that's by like another less than 10 people. And also allow yourself a minimum of three hours to enjoy this place. Any shorter than that, then you're really gonna be rushing and this isn't a place where you should rush. You really wanna take your time and to enjoy because the scenery is lovely and the pools are just so relaxing to swim in. You could even like have a picnic here, it's great. So definitely come here and check it out. It is idyllic. But now we're on our way back to the car so we can head on to our next destination.
after a two and a half hour drive, we are finally at Wadi Bani Khalid. I hope that you perked up a little bit because I know that was a struggle, but we fed you and we're gonna water you. Yep. And this better be worth the drive because you worked hard. It was a tough drive. Are your thoughts on Wadi Bani Khalid babe? Still lovely, really really nice but I think it was just a little bit weird because we didn't I kind of feel like we didn't get the full experience of it. When we were going towards kind of the main pool there were a lot of other people, um, predominantly men and there were a lot of signs around that said oh please dress appropriately blah 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 and it just felt like we weren't as a couple allowed to go in and enjoy the same thing that they were so it was a little bit weird from that perspective. All in all though the, the rest of it was quite nice. I don't want to say that I didn't enjoy myself or that it wasn't beautiful. It is beautiful. <clears throat> it's very similar landscape to Wadi Shah, but I just find it slightly less magnificent and dramatic. But if you just saw this, you would be like, oh wow, this is incredible. Because it still is at the end of the day. So it's only because of the comparison that I feel that way. Mm -hmm. And I just liked the pools better in Wadi Shah because I was able to go in all of them and I really just felt like we wouldn't be welcome in the one that was male only. Yeah. And the only other group that had a female also didn't get in, so we kind of took our cue from them of where we should go. Yeah. But if you are not into hiking, then this is far better to come to because the first set of pools is maybe a five minute walk from the parking lot. And then if you continue on another 10 minutes then you'll come to even better cleaner pools yeah. so it's so much easier to navigate than wadi shop but now we're gonna head back to the hotel it should be about an hour and 45 minutes but yeah then we're gonna head back and chill until next time take care and keep smiling